just say it. Should Clayton Kershaw start to be considered one of the best lefties of all time? No. Not, Definitely not. No, he's, <laughs> he's won 84 games. End, I mean, of, we, end of show. <laughs> there we go, and go to break. Well, I, I think we just have to give it a little time. He, he's won two Cy Young Awards. Tim Linscombe won two Cy Young Awards, too. And, and people, I don't want to name any names, said that it was time to start thinking about him for the Hall of Fame, and it was very much not time because he's not going to the Hall of Fame. Brett Saberhagen won two Cy Young Awards. People thought he might be a Hall of Famer. He's not. Clayton Kershaw, I think, is better than those guys. If you look at his peripherals, uh, he's more likely to hold up, but he's got to get to at least 100 wins before we start talking about where his place in history is. And he is our forward power player for today for good reason. The 15 strikeouts, retiring 18 in a row. What would you think of his performance yeah, I, last night. I think what we can say, I think Ted's right. He's not quite there in terms of the all-time greatest ever. Uh, that was one of the all-time great games last night, though. I mean, that was a completely dominating performance. If not for one error by Hanley Ramirez, it's a perfect game. But even by the standards of no-hitters and perfect games, that was incredibly, you know, all you need to know, 107 pitches. He got 15 strikeouts out of 107 pitches. That's an amazing strike-to-ball strike, strike -to -ball ratio right there. And the highest game score of any game other than Kerry Wood's 20 strikeout game. So She's higher than any other no-hitter or perfect game. Yeah, okay. eight nothing was the score against the Rockies. So is he the best pitcher in baseball right now? Forget all time. Is he the best pitcher in 2014? Yes. Uh, but, you know, again, this was a guy coming off an injury at the beginning of the season, which I think people were wondering how exactly is, is he going to perform. Uh, and it feels like the last couple of years he was trading off that honor with Justin Verlander primarily, maybe even Felix Hernandez. But I think the way that Verlander struggled this year and the way that Kershaw has dominated, he's dominating right now in his peripherals, his strikeouts per nine, his strikeouts per walk in a way that he has never done before. He's kind of pulled away, pulled ahead of the pack a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, I think hands down, best pitcher in baseball. At this moment, if you need one game today to win, Kershaw's not a bad choice. you got to at least consider Masahiro Tanaka, though. I think what he's doing for the Yankees is really, really impressive, given the adjustment he's had to make to pitching in the major leagues, to pit to American culture. Now, part of his effectiveness is probably the unknown factor. It's going to be very interesting to see what he does second half of the year as hitters get more of a look at him. His numbers are almost as good as, Tanaka, as uh, Kershaw's, especially with the strikeout-to-walk ratio. I think Tanaka has been really, really good. He and Kershaw are neck and neck right now at this moment. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. It's not just SI Now, it's girls in bikinis because we got your back. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We hope to see you there with the girls in bikinis.